the uh, family lawyer there uh, towards the end. I understand she's also the common law wife, one of the <laughs> laws and regulations of the state of Nevada. Uh, and she was with Michael for the last 17 years of his life uh, and you know, knew him better probably than any of us as an adult. Um, I, by the way, my name is Michael Abbey. I'm Mike's nephew. Uh, I believe I may be his namesake. Uh, and I know for certain that I'm his fellow SIGF brother, as we were in the SIGF Phi Epsilon fraternity together. Now, Patricia is shy about public speaking, and uh, I'm not. <laughs> and so we agreed to come up together, and really just to say thank you, thank you for coming. And I really wanted Patricia to be here, because I, you know, echo the sentiments that Dave and, and my mother Marilyn said that, you know, a, a great debt of gra gratitude to Patricia, who was there for, through the, uh, you know, the good times and the bad, uh, and really loved Michael. Uh, so, uh, when thinking about how to start off the program, I mean, I sat and sort of reflected, and the first thing that came to me is just how strange it is. One year ago to this day, many of us were in Reno celebrating Michael's birthday. He was in fine form. We had a great Italian dinner. We went to an old coward play. We had just a, a lot of fun. And uh, as I was sort of thinking about that, I, the next thing that came into my mind was the fact that uh, we had this special thing, Uncle Mike and I, because we were both SIG apps. We were both in the same fraternity. And that fraternity was quite big in Mike's life, uh, perhaps even more than me. And, so whenever he wrote to me, he would end by saying, you know, you're SIGET brother, and I would, you know, by email, write it back and uh, say the same. And whenever we saw each other, when we first met, and then when we left, we would pass the secret handshake. We said we turn as a secret handshake. And we passed the secret password, which was MizPa. I just blew it. There you go. They're going to kick me out. MizPa. And actually what MizPa means is, may the Lord be between me and thee when we are apart one from another. So this is what we said to each other for, you know, the last 35 years. And I, I learned uh, while I was in Reno and, and uh, in subsequent conversations with Mike that we also share in common that we both read the Bible. And uh, I asked Michael about his beliefs after he was diagnosed, and he told me that he believed in Christ as the Savior, Son of God, and he had no trouble with the idea that if he were asked why should he be allowed into God's heaven, that he would point to the sacrifice of Christ and not his own personal merit. In fact, uh, we had a good laugh about that because uh, in our two families, uh, we both, at least as compared to his sisters that he described often as saints, and I would say, to a lesser extent, my brothers, also good men, uh, we, Michael and I, had uncommonly long rap sheets. So we were, we were pleased that we could point to what Christ had done instead of our, our personal uh, merits. Uh, and so, resting on that promise, uh, as it says in the Bible, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will have eternal life. Um, I'm going to ask you to join me in believing that Mike's spirit is with us now, that he is looking down on this and probably smiling and having a good laugh at uh, the revisionist history of his life right now. <laughs> and so uh, what I would ask you to do is lift the glass on high. I'm going to lift it with Patricia. And uh, 